Hello, it's me, and today I'm going to be making the Orby Stressful. Don't judge me, I have a YouTube channel. That is YouTube? Yeah, the ship. Wait, are we going downstairs? Okay, so, Dragon's okay. friends. What's your amazing. name? Okay. What, what, oh my wait. god, oh my god. Please, what's your name? Jump on me. <laughs> what's your name? What? Okay, she just walked away. But, um. GD, come here. GD, I'm gonna go get Dad. Come here. Alright, so I have all these Orbeez that I just made between today and yesterday. And I have a bunch of balloons. So, she said that I could make an Orbeez dress one. I was like, alrighty. So all you really need is Orbeez. Um, this is the biggest one. Yeah. Need Orbeez and a balloon. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm back. And. I'm going to teach you guys how to make an Orbeez DIY stress ball. So, all you need is Orbeez. And if you watch my recent videos, I just made a bunch. Um, yeah. So, this will also be part two of the Orbeez because they're already finished. For my surprise, when I guess they just finished early, I love the color of this one. But I just wanted to share that. So, how to make an Orby stress ball. I'm just taking a balloon and I'm stretching it out just like so. So I'm just pulling it up just to give it some space and just stretching it out. I'm so grateful for this experience and I'm very proud of you. I'm, I'm so glad that you won actually because you're a winner. So I hope you win it all. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, sir. Good job, man. You're great. You're great. You keep doing what you're doing. Now. I'm so good. You're welcome. I know that I didn't win. No matter what, I'm gonna move forward with cooking, and I'll make that twenty-five thousand dollars next year. Okay. So whatever. So I'm just gonna take one, like Orbeez, and I'm just gonna like just pop them in here. And you'll see they they start to get like they have like really cool texture. It's really satisfying. But I'll be back when this is all filled up. Okay. So it is filled up a lot, but I'm gonna show you guys. This is actually not a lot. So if you take the balloon and like you're putting Orbeez in, and you say to yourself, like, I can't fit anymore because the top is all clogged up. What you do is you put the Orbeez in and you take the top and you push them all down to the bottom. And then you're going to blow up the balloon. And... I like it just like this, so I'm going to wait until it actually is this size. So, this is how you know that you can fit more Orbeez in there, but, um, if you blow it up, and, like, it doesn't blow up anymore, like, you have the mini balloons, then you'll just have to stop there, but these are regular balloons, they're not the jumbo ones, but they're not the mini ones. So, like, you blow them up, and, like, they just get bigger until they pop. But the mini ones, they blow up very small, but they won't pop. 
and the jumbo ones they just keep blowing up. But these they'll get as big as they can and then they'll pop. So I know it will not pop using Orbeez, but if I blow this up and I blow it up too big, then maybe it will pop. <coughs> but I know not with Orbeez. So this looks really cool so far. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just taking the tip and I'm keeping it open like this and I'm putting it in and then I'm squeezing it with my finger and just working it through. So I'm kind of just pushing it down with my thumb and that kind of just like triggers it out. This is a cool so I'm sorry. This is the worst either. Alright, so once again, like if you're if you're all clogged like this, just push it down as much as you can. And blow it up. And I just like to shake it a little bit. Just to make them move around. And then kinda leave it open a little bit. No, we'll go down, but Wait. So I'm just gonna keep going until it gets. Oh no! I'm falling out. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going until it gets bigger. All right, so another trick you can do is if this is kind of just like all filled up to the top, what you can do is just like it. That just broke. Is push it all the way down, and oh my gosh, they keep breaking. Okay. I'm just gonna get And then you're just gonna blow it up a lot. And then you're gonna put it in and try to keep these blown up. But um, when you put them in, it open so air will come out. And then um, it'll get small enough, but you'll still have all the Orbeez in there. So this is like really big stressful. So I'm just going to blow it up a little bit, and then I'm going to tie it. Love Nutella. Um... And then I just like flop it in there, and there's your stress ball. You can take sharpies or markers or crowns or gel pens or like anything you want, stickers. I don't know. You can just take like anything you would want, and you can just like decorate the outside. You can even put some like glitter or water in the inside, so it's more like satisfying. But I like this just how it is. It's perfect. But, um, if you guys see this, like, you see all the Orbeez, and then you see these, like, little pieces in the middle. But then they're all Orbeez, but, like, um, here we go. See all this? These are the Orbeez, but in between these little parts, like, there's this. You can't really see them on the camera. Here, no. Here, over here, see that? See this, all this around. Um, that is all broken Orbeez, like this. I took some of this out, so this is what that is. It's just all like broken and smushed Orbeez. But it is super squishy and cool. See if you go like this, like, yeah, this is super awesome. It is also super cheap. I got these off of Amazon for five dollars. This whole thing of Orbeez, five dollars, and there is even more Orbeez. Um, I got these. I got a whole package of balloons. They're up there, and only a dollar. So this cost six dollars, and I can make like ten more. 
six dollars. Only six dollars. This is a cheap, easy, really cool Orby stress ball. And you can probably like, you can even probably like use a water bottle. I mean a water balloon for a stress ball. Like that would be cool. That should be my next DIY. But this was my first DIY. Um, a lot of people have done this before, but um, I have a twist. No, I don't mean when you tie it, you twist it. But like, if you have this and you can't keep a good grip on it, so you're gonna take this powder and just sprinkle it all over the top and the sides and everywhere. And then this is minty, so now um, it feels good and it also smells good. And what you can also do is you can put hand sanitizer on it so every time you squish it, you will clean your hands. So like, let's say you got like, eh, all over your hands. You would rub it on the stress ball and you can also put dry glue on here. If you, if you covered this in the glue stick and hand sanitizer, then if you got your hands dirty, all the glue would stick, I mean all the dirt would stick to the glue, I guess, and then the hand sanitizer might clean it off. That would be cool. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Peace, bros.